them to do, sir. Wait a minute. We can't attack until we get reorganized. Attack? My orders are to obtain a truce from Captain Lasker until the members of the forum can be assembled. You mean you're going to accept Kane's demands? I'm afraid so, Colonel Rogers. Lead the way, Patton. them to sign that treaty. You cannot bluff the men of Saturn into accepting your terms. It's not altogether a bluff, Prince Talon. I shall tell them that you send word asking that they surrender to save your life. You cannot take them that message. It is not true. Part of it is true. If I'm not back within an hour, you know how to deal with our prisoner. Put him against the wall and keep a close watch over him. I'll take Talon's guard. You cover the others. Hold it! All right, drop the gun. I've got him covered. Take him away. Colonel Rogers, the people of Saturn find themselves more deeply indebted to you than ever. Words alone cannot express our gratitude. If you can suggest a concrete means by which we can prove it, you need only command us. I need no proof, sir. Outside of your promise to support us in ridding the world of Killer Kane's outlaw army. You already have that promise, and we shall not fail you. Prince Talon, you will accord Colonel Rogers an escort of honor. Thank you, sir.
Good luck, Colonel Rogers. Buddy. Thank you. You'll be hearing from us, Prince Talon. Scientist General. Colonel Rogers calling the Scientist General. Hidden City Air Control Room. Hold on your wavelength, Colonel. I'll get the Scientist General. The Scientist General on 725, please. This is the Scientist General. Colonel Rogers calling you, sir. Colonel Rogers? Put him on at once. Cruising at 60,000 feet, Doctor. Are you ready to go through the plan I suggested? Just waiting word from you, Buck. How many ships do you want sent up? Every one you have, Doctor. I want them to keep the Cane Patrol over the Hidden City occupied. So the Saturnian spaceships can slip through. But how are you going to get through, Buck? <laughs> you forget, Doctor. I'm in one of Kane's own ships. Fine. I'll check with Air Marshal Craig at once. Now, Lieutenant Deering, come with me. Send the planes up at once, Craig. Air control. Air control. All planes assigned to battle plan B take off immediately. Captain Rankin. All planes assigned to battle plan B are to take off immediately. All planes assigned to battle plan B take off immediately. <laughs> single ship on Kane's private airfield. robot down there? That's Crinkle. He was Kane's right-hand man until the killer had him thrown in the robot battalion. If we can get him loose, I have an idea he'll help us to get even. You. Call down to the guard and have Crinkle sent up here. Crinkle? That's right. Go on. Hey, Frog Guard, send Crankle up here. Crankle. Balcony. Move. Bud, keep him covered. Crinkle. 
Gringo. Are you all right? Yes. Yes, I'm all right. Now listen. Listen. We've come here to free the robots and turn them against Kane. Put this back on again. It's harmless now. Then go down and remove the helmets from the others. You got that? That will be a real pleasure. Fine. to the hidden city, we must destroy it immediately. I will send all air squadrons against it tomorrow. Hartwright, you will command the infantry that will follow in after the air attack. Yes, sir. Calling the leader Kane. Calling the leader Kane. Calling the leader Kane. We've been attacked by hidden city planes and fours. I've already lost a third of my ships. Commander White. Commander White. There's no time to lose. We must attack Hidden City immediately. Fuck Rogers. What does this mean? It means that you're through, King. Buddy. Quico, hold him. No! No! You'll take orders from me now, King. Get him over the space radio. Repeat what I tell you. This is the leader, Kane. Withdraw all outer atmosphere patrols to their flying fields. All right, Crinkle. This is the leader, Kane. Withdraw all outer atmosphere patrols to their flying fields. That means that we have lost. All right, buddy. We're headed for the hidden city. Swell. <laughs> Hewer and Air Marshal Craig are waiting for you in the air control room. Thank you very much, Captain. Colonel Rogers and Buddy Wade, sir. You want to see us, sir? Yes, Colonel Rogers. Words mean but little at such a time as this, Colonel. But as a reward for ridding the Earth of its greatest menace, the outlaw army of Killer Kane, the War Council has appointed you Colonel-in-Chief in charge of a new air force to be organized from the remnants of Kane's flying service. That's a big order, sir. I'll do my best. In appreciation of your brave services, Master Wade, 
The War Council has voted you the Distinguished Service Cross. And although it is somewhat irregular because of your age, you are commissioned a flight lieutenant attached to the staff of Colonel Rogers. Gosh, that's swell. Oh, Colonel Rogers. Yes, sir. You will remain, please. I'll be right with you, buddy. It is the desire of the War Council that you take up your duties in Killer Kane City at once, Colonel. They've just given me too much credit for our success. Marshal, sir, if it hadn't been for Prince Talon and his Saturnian spaceships, our cause would have been lost. I'll tell them at once. Colonel Rogers. Yes? Pardon me, sir. I've just received a message from Dr. Heuer's laboratory that another of Kane's squadrons has been sighted. Another Kane squadron? Yes, sir. Will you go right down, please? Yes, thank you very much. Excuse me, sir. What's this about a Kane squadron? A Kane squadron? Look, I don't understand. You don't understand. I just got a message from here. You decided another Kane squadron. But I didn't. I did that, Buck. I, uh, I knew Willen would want to congratulate you, but she couldn't because she was on duty, so I sort of fixed things up. <laughs> well, from now on, you can be my official fixer, buddy. Well, I... I guess the first thing an official fixer should know is when he's not wanted. Yeah. 